Amp stories are fun and dynamic when done right. Let's explore some of the best practices around creating great Amp stories. Amp stories are a new form of visual storytelling that is visually rich and dynamic and works particularly well on mobile. If you haven't seen them in action yet, be sure to check out the intro video linked in the comments and our story section on ampproject.org slash stories. An Amp story most commonly consists of bold full screen imagery and video content. Here's how to get the most out of Amp stories. To start off, even though most backgrounds will be full sized images, you should always specify a background color for your Amp story pages. That way, you provide a good fallback user experience, even if poor network conditions prevent the downloading of any image or video assets. Ideally, that background color should match the dominant color on the page's background asset. Oh, and also make sure that it's different enough from the font color so that the text is readable even before the image loads. And hey, if you want to be extra fancy, you can do CSS gradients or inline tiny SVGs to simulate a low bandwidth representation of the image. That's basically the same idea as progressive JPEGs, with the additional advantage that no extra request is needed before the pixelated version appears. This is especially useful if your content isn't served over HTTP2. Most of the time, you want to add text on top of the imagery. The first thing to watch out for is basic readability. Choose a font color that has enough contrast to the image behind it. Now, there are scenarios where you just can't control what kind of image will be shown because it's user generated. In that case, you can add a so called scrim, a visual element that separates the text from the background. That's usually something like a subtle black transparent gradient overlay, like so. And keep in mind that AMP stories are designed to offer a more visual experience, so keep text on a page limited to bite sized chunks no more than one or two sentences. If you really think you need more text, then you should be carefully considering your aims and the reading flow and whether AMP story is the right format for you. Things get a little more interesting with video. It's easy to just slap on a simple video file, but there's a few optimizations you can do to make the experience as delightful as possible. The poster is an image that displays in the UI until your video is downloaded. It's generally the first frame of the video, although any image can work. Just make sure to choose an image that is representative of the video and allows for a smooth transition to the real deal once the video kicks in. Different browsers support different video formats, so be smart about which version of the video you load. You can use the SRC attribute to load the same video in all cases, but it's better to use source child elements. By using the source element, you can specify the video MIME type as well as add more video sources. But what about the size and length of the video? Good question. For optimal performance, aim to provide videos that are no larger than 4 megabytes. Consider splitting a long video over multiple pages and try to avoid particularly large videos on the cover page. If you can only provide a single video format, make that MP4. However, where possible, use HLS video and specify the wider supported MP4 as a fallback for browsers that do not yet support HLS video. HLS performs adaptive bitrate streaming where the quality of the video automatically adjusts to best suit the user's network connection. As for the codec, for WebM you can use VP9, but for all other cases you are unfortunately stuck with H.264 for the moment. Another point to consider is video resolution. AMP story videos are always vertical as AMP stories are always viewed in portrait mode and an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. That would mean a good baseline resolution for non-adaptive streaming is 720 by 1280 pixels. And for adaptive streaming, you can drop down to 540 by 960 or 360 by 480. A neat way to handle video in AMP stories is to automatically progress to the next story page when the current video finishes. The AMP story page has a pretty cool attribute to do just that. Just set the auto advance after attribute to the ID of the video and we'll handle the rest. Now go ahead and create a bunch of mesmerizing stories for everyone to enjoy. Onwards.